All right, so this weekend, more than 100 cyclists will jump on their bikes and go for a 60 ish mile ride through historic Stony Valley and Swatara State Park for the 2024 Hush Money Bikes Summer Hootenanny. The best part is it's all for a good cause. We've got Jake, we've got Nathan in here today to tell us about this awesome ride and really just the outdoor community here in South Central Pennsylvania. All right, let's start talking about the Hush Money Hootenanny. Um, it's not easy, it's a long ride, but it's not a competitive ride, but it's really for a good cause. Tell me about it. Uh, it's a hard day for sure. There's three brutal climbs on it. Uh, and 60 miles is 60 miles. That's nothing to sneeze at. Um, but anybody who pays the $25 entry fee uh, gets to come and hang out and eat snacks. And then that $25 goes towards the trail building efforts from Sambo, which is a, a local mountain bike organization. I want to talk about that more in just a second, but let's let's talk about this ride because you said about 60 miles. So it's not for somebody that's just going to hop on like a beach cruiser, um, but it's really neat because throughout the ride, there's some stops and you kind of learn a little bit. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of history in the Stony Valley uh, and it's kind of become forgotten history. It's not very well documented. So a few years ago, uh, I hired the Lebanon County Historical Society to, to do some research for me because it's not something that I'm good at. <laughs> uh, and they came up with some great information and that has become the, the Hush Money Hootenanny, the history tour that you know covers all of the ghost towns uh, along the Stony Valley Rail Trail. And this is your third year doing the ride and I know each year it grows a little bit each year. Um, and, and look, it is it's beautiful. You can see some of the video right now on your screen. Um, talk to me about the importance of these organizations that you're supporting. Of course, we got the Pennsylvania Dirt Bags are a big part of it. You guys are just a group of outdoor enthusiasts, but the money is going to help uh, maintain trails. Can you talk to me about that? Yeah, so we joined Nate uh, when it first started, and we have a, a little uh, aid station. We provide some fun, and uh, we bring the community together. We support a local community group. Uh, it's a very inclusive bunch of people that <laughs> just like getting rad in Pennsylvania. Uh, so it was best to hang out with Nate and keep the event going. Um, all the proceeds for the registration goes to Samba, the mountain biking, building more mountain bike trails, getting people out on bikes in the woods. It's super rad. And Pennsylvania is just a cool place with the Pennsylvania dirt bags. It, it is. And especially the, the first time actually we met, we were walking <laughs> up uh, Round Top Mountain. It was in the winter just to ski back down doing something called uphilling. So you, do, you guys do like to do a lot of really cool things. And, and the community as a whole is a great community. Um, let's talk about how people can get involved because there are maybe a couple spots left open for the, the Hootenanny, if I'm not mistaken, kind of on the line there, though. We've had a couple of cancellations, mm -hmm. uh, so if you're interested in joining, even though it is technically sold out, uh, send us a DM on Instagram, email us, just get in touch somehow, and we'll find a way to squeeze you in. And you said it's $25 for the ride, so it's not a lot of money. Um, it, it's a, a day's worth of fun. I, I want you to tell me about this glass water bottle because uh, you're just, it all kind of ties back together. You really, it's not about raising a lot of, uh, it's about raising money, but it's not about making you money. Tell me about this glass water bottle. So, and I'm gonna do my best to keep this brief. Yeah. Um, the Cold Spring Hotel site, which is the, the main history stop on the tour, uh, has kind of a shady history between 1900 and 1905. Uh, the hotel was not occupied except for uh, by some of the undesirables of the area. And what they did was they, they in order to make a living, bottled illegal bootleg spring water. Uh, they <laughs> labeled cool. it as the Lancaster Spring Water Company. Yeah. They put it on trains and they sold it in Lancaster. Mm -hmm. um, so we found these bottles. We had the Hush Money Hootenanny logo printed on them and we're selling them for 20 bucks just to you know raise a little bit extra money wherever we can. That's awesome, Nathan. All right, last question for you. I know you've rode this ride. Um, you've actually rode across Pennsylvania, so you're no stranger. What is your advice to people that are going to be taking part in this 60-ish uh, mile ride. 60, it's just always a bunch of surprises along the way, but it's just get a bike, come out, get rad. Mm -hmm. We had the Pants route, we rode north to south 330 miles. We're doing west to east, the Jorts route. Mm -hmm. uh, and the only thing I learned is just put your head down, pedal, and keep eating. Keep eating. Keep eating. There you go. That's, see, that's a pro tip right there. You gotta eat, you gotta refuel. Uh, Nathan, Jake, thank you guys so much for coming in with us. Of course, we're gonna put more information on the Hush Money Hootenanny uh, Samba and the PA Dirt Bags on our website, fox43.com.